Good morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on September the 29th, 2024, on a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And of course, I'm snacking on stuff and enjoying my morning. I did a, did a quick walk to a convenience store and got back. See, what I usually do is uh, my workout is just walking. And what I like to do is do quick walks like 30 minute walks when I can and that's it I don't really go extreme anymore because I, I have injured myself and then it turns out you know it's just it was just a waste of energy you know I think a lot of people waste a lot of energy on extreme 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 workouts but because then you have to keep up with it every day every day every day and chances are you know you're not gonna be able to do other things because you're so because we love to go extreme about everything and uh, and so then we lose um, touch with reality and we, we don't spend time with our loved ones we don't do things that have to be done around the house and um, you know because if you if you have a home there's always plenty of stuff to do as far as exercise wise you know when I had my home I loved it because I had the outdoor space and you know indoor but mainly that outdoor was that, that outdoor was extremely challenging and it, and and it told and it, it allowed me to you know to go to to places I've never been <laughs> you know planting trees flowers gardens and doing all that stuff and mowing my own lawn you know that kind of stuff is just fantastic for me you know and that's how I enjoy getting my physical workout I, I, when I used to join these gyms back in the day, I rarely go. I rarely, and I was just wasting money, you know, uh, paying these monthly gym memberships. So I put out a series of videos, you know, over the weekend or, you know, uh, addressing certain people, you know, um, just bringing, bringing certain things to their attention. Um, and to let them know, you know, um, they're not they're not fooling them, they're not fooling me, uh, and I hope they are not uh, believing their own BS about about you know what they know and what they're doing. Because I told you I was in a in a group, and you know, it's a lot of masculine energy in that group. Hint, hint, <laughs> and. Um, you know, just imagine, you know, where we could could have been, where we could have been during these times, during these timings, if we had just done what we were supposed to do simply, you know, when we had information given to our quote unquote leaders, which were advisors and um, lobbyists, you know, they, they did not go directly to the to the uh, the main executive branch, they, the the executive branch was always in the dark, and usually that was also intentional and willing. You know, that was a willingness of the uh, executive branch. They don't want to know about none. Of, let you know, you deal with it. You deal with it. You deal with it. You deal with it. They always was pushing off their responsibilities onto someone else. But just imagine what could have, where we could be, what where we could have been right now, if. Uh, you know the information uh, that was presented to a particular administration, uh, it would have gotten into that 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 hand of that particular um, executive branch, and who knows what the outcome would have been? Because you know, I told you religion, religion, politics, and now even scientific. Uh, concepts all go together now you know it's almost like you know we, we we you know there should have should have been a separation but you know you know executive branch and religion i mean that that is a per, you know your religion is your personal um values and virtues right I, I'm, I'm 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 assuming i i know for a fact that that's not what it is but let's let's pretend since we love to pretend as well It's just it's just it's just so unfortunate where we could have been 
if we had just followed simple instructions, you know, and avoided p, uh, avoided war, and um, you know, just kind of look at the reality of our situation, and be very clear about what our intentions were or are. Man, I mean, you know, this is just so many, so billions of people have missed out, and so billions of people are going to be reaping what they've sown and swirling in a, an abyss forever you know just imagine that okay just imagine that and 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 the misery that's gonna bring forth a lot of people are gonna be living in misery forever you know like i said rolling yourself back you know devolving and you know instead of evolving so i was just thinking you know because i saw some things you know online about you know a lot of people want to live longer understandable a lot of people want to live longer but living longer does not guarantee and it will not guarantee prosperity i mean if you live longer you're gonna be living longer miserably you know because you need the you need the correct balance of nature you need biodiversity you need you need flowers plants trees animals and a lot of that is gone extinct if anybody's paying attention so i do like to contemplate and just you know sit in cuz i told you there's nothing wrong with sitting in the fantasies as long as you know that you're sitting in fantasies and um you know and imagine what what could have been you know what could have been for the the large collectiveness of all of us I'm, that's what i'm talking about small groups of us you know, we, we, we're going to, we're going to, um, cherish those moments, you know, that, you know, that we, that we deserve, you know, because we put in the work, we put in the effort. <sighs> so again, righteousness matters. Stay righteousness. Um, stay righteous. And if you, you know, and, and and I like to sit back and watch and and figure out as well what's going on and why stuff is going on and how I could have been just as just as much sucked into a lot of this de de uh, degeneracy, deviancy, perversion, criminal energy. I could have so easily gotten into that, but thankfully I was awkward. Okay, thankfully, because my awkwardness and my my kind of um, my different type of personality, you know, made me like, whoa, you know, kind of question things. I do remember wanting to fit in just like any, any young person who, who doesn't want to fit in. But, you know, sometimes you just, you, you know, your conscious, you know, based on your consciousness, you may not fit in and you have to listen to that. You know, like I told you about the anxiety, I think anxiety is a companion to warn you, okay, maybe I shouldn't go to this party. Maybe I shouldn't go to this house party. Maybe I shouldn't go to this event. You know, trust that and be okay with it. You know, there's always other opportunities if that is meant to be. If that is if that's where you're supposed to go. If you don't if you're not feeling it, then trust it. It's okay. Uh just know that, you know, what you put out will bring in certain type of opportunities for you where you can kind of you know, look at it at a, on a, as a big picture to say, okay, you know, how does, how, what's the benefit of me doing this? What's the benefit of me doing that? Blah, blah, blah. You know, just, just be kind and gentle and just question yourself. You know, is there some type of evil intention on my behalf and all that stuff? Be honest about it. No one has to know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people with all the, what's going on in the news, with all this collapsing, 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 um, wish they had listened to their that that anxiety that they were having listen to that voice of their their voice attempting to warn them you know maybe you shouldn't go there maybe you shouldn't go there you know oh well you know i need to sign this contract oh no oh, i want to be seen i want people to da, 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 da. and as i'm talking about the entertainer aspect of it all you know you know I, you know i need to get my face in the place i need to and that's true you do want to socialize properly you know, uh, but a lot of people were just selling themselves. A lot of people say selling their souls. And that's true. A lot of people were. 
because they didn't understand who they were, what they were, and why they are. You know, they, they didn't understand the deeper components of who they were or who they are and what they're becoming. They just wanted that attention. You know, they wanted to sign the contracts. They wanted that million dollar, you know, those million dollar contracts, those, uh, those uh, opportunities, you know, to travel here, to travel there, to hang out and these celebrity parties, these influential parties, these political parties, everybody, you know, has something going on in the background. I told you about that hierarchical entities, you know, the billion, billion dollar boys parties. I mean, everybody had it going on. And like I said, when I was coming up, I can remember going to house parties and, 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 and events and celebrities were there, but I really didn't, you know, I didn't. Like I said, I was so awkward. I wasn't, you know, what am I going to go up to the celebrity and say? You know, I had really nothing, nothing to say to them. Okay, you know, uh, and they weren't anything that they weren't, they were something I was, uh, you know, they were entertainers that were entertaining. But, you know, I, I had to draw the, draw the line. About how I was, you know, I, like I said, I was just awkward and I just didn't fit in. I, um, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable, you know, uh, with the superficiality of it all. Cause it, it's a, I, I would say most of it's superficiality. I mean, until you, you know, I mean, you know, thousands of people in a club, you know, and, you know, and I can remember going to house parties, you know, and people sitting there, you know, not even attempting to engage in conversations, you know, so. I would I would just be sitting there in the corner, you know, with that one drink all day long. You know, if they have food, that's different. I would, you know, but yeah. So all I'm saying is we all had these moments where we could have done, could have made uh, different uh, decisions, but you do learn, you do need mistakes. You need to make mistakes. And that way you can, you know, especially early on. So I'm telling you, a lot of people early on were pro possibly getting these impulses. Don't go, don't go. You know, getting all this anxiety, you know, you know, attempting to warn them. Don't go to that party, don't go to that party. And, you know, that's okay. Just um, realize that, you know, just be thankful. I, I, I would say that you're not anything, anyone that's um, high profile. Because when you're high profile, the likelihood of resolving stuff is, is low, 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 low. So, you know, be comfortable with being nothing. Because at the end of the day, that's, you are nothing. And that's where the power is. You know, when you suspend your ego, suspend your labels, suspend this, suspend your beliefs, you know, suspend all of that. And just kind of sit with yourself and be, and be realistic about, okay, look around in your environment and ask yourself, okay, what is going on in my environment that I am ignoring, that I am disregarding, that ought to be handled? Like, for, my, for example, for, for me, I came from a, you know, say, for, for example, three-bedroom, two-bath home, and now I'm in a single room, you know, single studio. So I have clutter, and I'm okay with that. Because I, I I know what each pals, what each section of the of the um, clutter means, and so I'm and I, and I know this situation is temporary, so so I'm good. I you know I I take all this pressure off myself, and that's what I suggest you do as well. Take some of the pressure off. You know, some of you are like I said, you are fabulous. You know, and um, you know. You know your energy. You know the ones that that know that you're fabulous in my eyes. Um, you know I, I, that's what I kind of um, you know resonate with. You know, sure, materialism is fine, but I'd rather have a nice, you know, delicious dinner, lunch, breakfast. You know, with someone. You know that kind of intimate environment. I don't need to be at the parties. Every now and then, sure, there's some socialization that's necessary there. But I like the intimacy of stuff, you know. Uh, enjoying moments, you know, 
whether I'm, you know, doing what I'm doing on one side of the room or I'm and my partners, you know, like, like with my parents, my parents were perf perfect models. They, my, my mom can be doing something in the kitchen. My dad could be doing something outside or vice versa. My dad could be doing something in the kitchen. My mom can be outside because my mom enjoyed being outside at, in the beginning too, you know, planting flowers and this and that and the other. And some of her flowers that she planted, I mean, 30, 40 years ago are still st striving in our parents, um, on our parents' property. So, you know, it's those kind of moments like that. And um, I don't take too many pictures anymore. Um, what I do is I do everything in my power to just kind of be in that moment, you know, and, um, and, and I'll remember it. Uh, the thing about when we when you take pictures, sometimes it takes you away from enjoying the moments. But sure, if you're supposed to take pictures, you know, because you you know you're doing you, you you're collecting pictures for a reason. But I don't anymore. Every now and then, I'll snap a selfie just so people know I'm like my my some of my relatives know I'm good. You know, uh, I'm good and everything's fantastic. Uh, but other than that, I just I just. I just kind of listen, I look around, and each time you do that, things do change. That's why I say pay attention to nature. Pay attention to nature. Nature is attempting to get our attention, and we are ignoring nature, unfortunately. You know, like I said about the disappearing mountains, you know, the, 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 the look up, you know, the palm trees in certain regions, um, to me, appear to be on their last leg. That's the last harvest. There's some some fruit trees, you know. The, that's the last of their harvest. Um, so, you know, enjoy the moments, especially with each other. You know, bring intimacy in, and like I said, define for yourself with your partner what that means. Each one of us, and no one has to know. You know, I'm not sharing any more about my personal life in that in that um you know because it's, you know it's that that's not you know that's not the, the the purpose of what i'm doing i'm 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 attempting to help i don't need my personal information about all of that you know i've made mistakes with that you know i made some tremendous mistakes and i'm not going to do that again it's not even worth it you know um what we do intimate intimately ought to be sacred and private Okay, there's nothing secret about it, but private. We need to respect people's privacy in that realm so that they can work on their relationships, work on their interpersonal relationships, work on their interaction with people. Uh, but it's, you're not going to do it if you're in the spotlight. It's going to be next to impossible sometimes. Now, if you do that for a living, you know, you still have to um, consider, um, you know, how to balance that all out so that you have a beautiful, loving, intimate, interpersonal relationship. So that's all I'm going to say this morning. I'm preparing for some uh, things I need to do later in the day. I'm going to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I will be back.